Sports presents Major League Baseball Thursday afternoon with Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, and John Crump. The game starter on the mound. Here's a look. As he gets into this lineup, Steve, a bit about his strategy. Well, in this matchup, the pitcher, not the best matchup for him, so he really has to limit base runners right now. Don't give this quality lineup too many opportunities to score runs. Get a chance to look at what Charlie Manuel's thinking lineup-wise. So who are you looking at, John? Well, Cameron Maven's finally starting to live up to those expectations of when he came out of high school in the draft. A guy who had a lot of potential, speed, power. It's now starting to catch up. Once he diminishes his strikeouts a little more than what he does and makes more contact, the sky's the limit athletic-wise for Cameron Maven. So Travis Snyder leading it off. Second baseman, number eight, Tony Taylor. The pitch, swung on, hit in the air to right center. This one to Phillips. Roams over, puts it away. As we get into this game, what are we going to see defensively? John, uh, who's a factor for them? Well, there's a great athlete out there in the field with Brady Sizemore grabbing his glove. He's always going to give you 100%. He has that football mentality when it comes to playing the outfield. He'll crash into walls. He'll dive for balls. He'll do whatever he can to help his team win. That's what caused him some of these injuries, but that's what caused him to be a fan favorite. He's off that one outside, 1-0. Here's the 1 0 on the ground to third. Santo in time for the out third. And in the batter's box, it's Allen. Tying away for a strike on one. The pitch hit hard on the ground towards third. Throws to first in time. That's three down. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. It's Clayton Richard doing the pitching. He'll be the starter in this one. And Steve, as he faces these hitters, what's going to be his focal point? Now we've got a good right-hander on the mound and a good lineup that he's facing right here. And it's going to come down to execution on either side to see who prevails. Now the 1-0 pitch. 1-0 pitch. A changeup stays outside. 2-0. Oh. The 2-0 oh pitch. A fastball taken for a strike. Listen, he's not one to get too fancy. 2-1 two count. He's going to come with a fastball. I'm betting on it. The 2 1. This one's grounded to second. And Taylor. And his throw is in time. First out of the inning. Number 10. And here's how their offensive lineup looks. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, he doesn't have the same speed he once did when he first came up. I mean, Grady Sizemore was a guy that everyone thought 30 30. He still has the power, especially for a guy who plays center field. But the speed's not there anymore, but he's still a very important part of the lineup.
And he lays one down here. Number 11. And he throws the first in time out number two. Well, not a bad thought trying to get something started, getting on base to start some sort of a rally, put some pressure on the defense, but didn't work out that way. We'll take a quick look at how they'll be taking the field defensively. Now, John, anyone in particular that uh, we want to keep an eye on? Well, you always want to have guys who can fly running around in the outfield, and Jose Tabata has speed to burn. He can play multiple outfield positions. He's a good enough arm to play right field. He also has the speed to play center if need be. And, but that speed is the key asset that he has going for him. Takes away a lot of doubles with his legs. That one's hit to the right. Way down there, but that's going to be a long foul ball. Oh! Richards runs the count 0-2. Well, he got that slider, and he thought that's where he wanted it. He took a mighty rip at it, but he came up empty. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, the fastball, one and two. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. That's one of those pitches you throw it out there, and you hope the hitter chases it. He laid off, though. Now it's a battle. Fastball swung on and missed, side retired. No runs, no hits, nobody across the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. Both teams still looking for their first run in Chicago. Need of the lineup coming to the plate. White after plate. Swung on, that ball hit well, out there to deep, left center field. In the box now, number five spot. Strike First one. pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. Hot shot towards the hole. Out on to first. That's out number two. Number 25. Oh, Gonzalez at the plate. A lifetime number? Well, 259 off. First pitch inside, ball one. The 1 0 pitch. Hit on the ground. Number 11. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. And they're held in check here in this half inning. They've still got the shutout here at Ringland. to start the second for the home team. Swing and a line drive. And that one's going to drop in. That'll be our first hit of the game. Not even close with that throw, and he's on at first. Well, that's the start this team needed. Get that first guy in the inning up, get him on base, and let's see if they can bring him around to score. It's going to be Thomas. Here's the pitch. Swing and a hot shot. But he stays with it. Gets the out. That's how you do it. And a good throw against him. Two down. You have to love great defense. I mean, that's an unbelievable effort right there. And a way to pick your team up in a critical situation. Yeah, and it gets the fans into the game, too. I think fans love D. And Phillips is in the box. Deals. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. Come on, North Side, I need Cubby Blue. 
Oh, Looping wow. curve breaks outside even at one. Good moving cutter, and it's one and two now. The one two pitch. Line shot into center field, and that'll put Phillips on first. And this pitch just cuts right over the heart of the plate and hit her heel. That's one of those where you've uh, you've given in by making a bad pitch and, and really made it much easier for the hitter. Yeah, he's better than that. Bear down. And we're gonna see Hundley here. Here's the pitch. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Throws over to first. Oh, he had to stretch that one out, but he got back in there. Oh, Phillips trying to steal. Oh! And he is safe, just beating that throw. He had a great jump right there, great acceleration. They couldn't get him with the throw. That's a great secondary lead that allowed him to get in easily. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. And that's the third out. That'll do it. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. Both teams still looking for their first run in Chicago. Latter third of the lineup coming up. Catcher at the plate. Oh. First pitch way out of the zone, ball one. Well, you saw the catcher right there setting up inside, and the pitcher just missed off the plate. Still a pretty good pitch, though. A high pop up. At That's one down. Oh, oh, Jerry, he's pitching well right now. That's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. One away as Cameron Maven will get set. Here's the pitch. Right. There's a strike of the knees on one. Now that he's ahead in the count here, Gary, I'm looking for him to go to the curveball and try to punch him out. Line drive. That's wow. foul towards first. <laughs> Tried to get him to bite, but he lays off outside. One and two. And Cameron Maben watches that one go by. Count is even. He swings, hits a ball to right field. And Thomas is going to play it and as play. he ranges in and comes up with it. We're going to talk about Here's settling in. How about retiring eight hitters in a row? I think he settled in. Bunning in the batter's box. This one's grounded oh. near third. Foul. Oh. 
Hit in the air, in right, foul territory. Foul Thought he could make a play there, but it didn't happen. The pitch. Foul. And another foul ball. Pops him up. That'll do it as they put that one away. And a good defensive half inning. Three up, three down. Still no runs across in Chicago. A crisp day here at the ball yard. Temperatures might be dropping a bit later on towards the evening. Pretty size more Blake. He's our first batter, oh. home half of the third inning. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. And Sizemore swing and a miss. That evens the count up. Well, that's some kind of pitch. And you set up the target on the outside corner, and he paints the black with it. Awfully tough when you have that kind of location. Here's the 1-1. Swing and a shot to third. And he throws on to first for the out to the left. Well, oh, nice play at third base right there. Stays with it. A tough play, able to get the runner just in time. Now batting with one away. Here's Lonnie Chisholm. Starts him up with a change up for a strike. Now, Gary, the pitcher pulled the string on this one. It looks like a fastball, and then it just dies out as it gets to the plate. Good late movement. And it's 0-2. Lonnie Chisenhall now carefully watching the next one. He delivers. Big swing and a miss for Lonnie Chisenhall. Strike three, and he is gone. His pitches complement one another. They work off of each other, and he used a tremendous sequence right there. One, two, three, strike out. See you later. Up now, their second baseman. He bounced out his last time. And the first pitch. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Well, you see that pitch coming in, and it starts at the center of the plate. And all of a sudden, as soon as you start your swing, that's when that slider starts breaking away, gets out of the strike zone away. He can't stop his swing and swings and misses. Swung on line to right center field. That looks like a single. He's going to try to stretch it. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. You can't really blame the defense right there for him ending up on second base. And sometimes you have to just credit the hustle and aggressiveness of the base runner. Doubles are always big, Steve. This is how you score runs. You get yourself in the scoring position, and he did it. Well, you have to think double out of the batter's box. Good coaching on the bases and great effort uh, by the batter. Excellent job. And Santos is batting. Now the first pitch. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four-seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. That should be a base hit. He's trying for the plate. And he's in there. Well, you love the approach right there. He didn't try to do too much. Wasn't trying to be the hero. Just get that RBI and get that first run on the board. And Williams in the box. Offense, when you get it, well, it doesn't matter what part of the game it is. Now they've got themselves something to build on. 
I think we just saw some important production right there, guys. To get on the board at this stage of the game gives them a real chance of build confidence and to win. Here's the pitch. Oh, he lost control of that one, and that gets him. Well, sometimes the basketball just gets on you, and you can't get out of the way. No matter how ready you are for the pitch, he couldn't get out of the way there. So Casey Kochman thinking RBI now. Oh, Gary, that hit batter we just saw. Now two runners on base. A little rally starting here, and maybe the pitcher getting a little bit rattled. Two men on and two men out. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. Now you watch and see how the hitters react to it. Are they looking for that next pitch down the middle, or they think maybe they got to wait him out? And the pitcher has to regroup. He's got to settle down out there, not panic, to get back in the strike zone. That one's grabbed. Side retired. Well, nothing doing the first couple of innings, but they got it across in the third. The home team on top, one to nothing. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. Coming to back. So Travis Snyder leading it off. Here's the first pitch. Line towards second. And that one's down. That's the team's first hit. Now coming to bat. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And you know, you, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. The first pitch hit in the air to center field. This one to Phillips. And he grabs it in his tracks. Now coming to bat. And in the batter's box, it's Allen. Grounded out last time. First pitch on the way. Ball. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Into the fourth inning, clearly pitching dominating this lineup right now. Look, he's only given up one hit, and they just have not had quality at bats against him. He's making it look easy. Here's a swing and a fly ball. Foul. Ends up foul. And that's cut on a miss, one and two. He must not have eaten for a long time because he was hungry for this pitch. Problem was, it's a pretty good slider. You swing that hard at a slider, pretty good chances you're going to come up empty. That's up and in, ball two. Well, a little message pitch right there, up and in in the strike zone. And I think this hitter will think twice about diving out over the plate after that pitch. Here's the pitch. He fouls that one off. Tough pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3-2. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a high bouncer to second. Gets one at second. Back to first. Not in time. One at two. Won't get it. He makes a nice play to get the lead runner at second base with a strong, accurate throw. Good footwork. They just couldn't get the double play. White at the plate. Well, he's running, taking off for second. And he is out trying to take second. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. It's going to be Thomas. And here's a quick summary of how this guy's uh, mixing up his pitches. How's he doing? 
And mixing up your pitches, to me, he's throwing way too many change-up. He's become reliant on it. You know, John, I agree. When a pitcher locks in on one pitch over another, it takes away some of the weapons he has, and it starts to reduce what the hitter has to think about. I think he needs to take advantage of using his cutter. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And that's our number one stepping in the back. Number 41. And Phillips is in the box. Had a base hit his last time up. The pitch swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Well, as a hitter, when a guy has a good fastball, you think you have to swing a lot harder to try to catch up with it. You really don't, but he did right there, and that's why he blew it past him. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1 and 1. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. Here's the 1-1. One, one. It's hit foul by Phillips. The 1-2 on its way. Ground ball. White. And it gets through. Two for two. He takes this 1-2 pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact. And he got it. And we're going to see Hundley here. How's he attacking on the first delivery? Let's look here. Well, when he throws the first pitch for a ball, what does it mean? Well, it means he's working behind in the count. The advantage goes to the hitter. Hitters have three hits in this one after going 1-0. On the way. There's a hard comebacker right through the side. And there's one. And there's the second out of double play. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Fifth inning coming up for Griggin. Clean up batter, do up next. Stepping up to the plate. White at the plate. Bill White. First pitch to him. There's a check swing, but a call strike on one. The pitch, shot towards the hole, You're and he'll step on first for out number one. Well, flashing some leather over there at first base, doing a nice job getting the runner himself. Now their rookie center fielder. Steve, how well is that pitching performance standing up? How's this righty doing it? Well, he's getting a lot of ground ball outs, and it's because they just cannot seem to stay behind the ball. They keep hitting the top of the ball. Here's the delivery. Ball one. Low for ball one. Good spot there. Just down a little bit out of the zone. Tried to get him to chase. He wouldn't go for it. Here's the 1-0. 1-0 -oh. pitch. Change up in there. 1-1. One one. The key to a great change up is deception and velocity change. He has both of those, and that's why it's so good. 1-1 one -one on the way. Sharp right to that slider, one and two. And with that changeup, keeping hitters off balance, that's what it does. It does, and that change in velocity gets the hitter off his front foot, makes it awfully tough to hit the changeup. Fastball oh, just about had him, and it's a 2-2 two -two count. And you know, any great pitching coach will emphasize the importance of mixing up your pitch types. Let's see how this guy's been doing in that regard. Yeah, and a couple times he's gotten a little bit out of rhythm. Got a few hiccups here and there, but for the most part, he's been pretty outstanding. Well, some of the hitters have been able to put the ball in play and hit the ball hard, but it's not about mixing his pitches up. He's got to execute the pitch when he throws it as well. 
That's a pretty fast pitch right there. And hard to get that much break on it. Gonzalez at the plate. And here's the first one. Oh! Slider just misses one and all. Here's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. One bounce onto the wall. And he ends up at second. That's a double. Well, you know, he's feeling pretty good about himself right now. He's generating the first opportunity here with two outs to put up a run on this inning following his double. And the first pitch. Fastball in there. 0 and 1. Well, it's uh, truly been a tremendous day on the mound for this man. Here's a breakdown of how he's been mixing up his locations, using that to his advantage. Pretty impressive. Ground ball towards second. Number 18. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. We're going to look at that leadoff hitter due up here in the inning. Pretty size more. We'll get things started. On half, fifth in. Here's the first pitch. That's inside for a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. 1 0 oh now. Slider just misses the black, falls behind 2 and 0. Oh. He tried to backdoor that pitch, but left it out and away. All three. Brady Sizemore laying off that one. Don't feed him a fat pitch on this count. Well, he's up in the count right here, three and zero, oh, and you know he has the green light. As a hitter, you set middle in and try to get something in that zone to generate a run. Three one on the way. Lays off that one, misses ball four. Good eye by the hitter there. Lay off that low ball, understanding below the knees, take it. That'll bring Lonnie Chisenhall up. What do you think, Steve? A bunt here? Uh, it's a definite bunt situation with the pitcher up. They've got to get the runners moved up. Let's see if they agree. First pitch to him. Squares to bunt. Does an offer. Ball one. A 1 0 pitch. Turns to bunt that time. He'll stay away from it, though, for ball two. Trying to bunt his way on board. Misses. It's a strike. Uh, let's take a moment to see how this pitcher has been mixing up his pitches. John, Steve, what do you think about how he's done? Well, he's trying to work these hitters away. The problem is he hasn't had much command in this one, and he's missing a lot more outside than he's accustomed to. In time for the up. Number 18. Now listen, pitchers don't hit the ball as well as position players do, but you can still impact the game with productive outs. Good fun. And boy, will he be happy if that comes around to score. That's going to make the manager very happy right there. And it rolls around to the top again. He doubled and scored in his last trip to the plate. And on second, one away. The first pitch, back up the middle. And he gets it through. That's his second hit in the ballgame. They score the run. Well, you see the pitch down in the zone a little bit, but he got a good piece of wood on it and drives it. What you like about that at bat is the discipline to keep the head in. Well, I'll tell you what, he changed locations, went down in the zone. It's a solid piece of hitting. And Santos is batting. Just one player picking up after another, Steve. This is 
This is a good offensive show going on, and they're climbing the ladder with it. Here, we just saw a big hit right there, and it points out how critical it is at this time of the game to have somebody who can step up to get the job done in a clutch situation. And now it comes down to can their bullpen hold this lead? Pitch on the way, up the middle. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. The opportunity for offense is right now. And Williams in the box. And of course, as a pitcher, you've got to keep your eye on which pitches are effective on any given day and which ones aren't. Here's a look at which pitches he's thrown that have generated hits. Well, guys, looking at his four-seam fastball, that pitch has been hit three times. You know, it's a bit concerning how he's been hit when he's gone to that pitch. But you can't be too disappointed with how he's come out and pitched in this one. He's definitely given his team a chance to win. Slider's in there for a called strike. Richards runs the count 0 2. Oh. And he swings and hits this one foul. Oh Cutter thought he had him, but it's one and two. Trying to backdoor that cut fastball, just trying to catch the outside corner, couldn't quite get it. One two pitch coming. Swing and a miss. Slider two down. I've got a chance to take a look at the slider again. A fantastic strikeout pitch here. It's headed down and in, and the batter just didn't time this thing right. He never had a chance on this one. Absolutely right, John. And as in real estate, it's all about location. And Casey Kochman to bat. A chance here to see what kind of strikes he's been throwing. How he's generating successful pitches. But what stands out is that when he's been most successful is when he's hitting the inside and outside corners of the plate. Keeping the ball out of the middle, and that's the way you have success in this league. That's exactly it. Keep the ball out of the center of the plate. Make it difficult for the hitter to center the ball on the bat. Two down. Runners at first and second. Ball Change up just misses. One and oh. Pauses, and now the 1-0. And he looks at a slider that's in there, 101. Down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down to the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. The 1-1. One one. A little one. too much action there, and it's 2-1. The 2-1 pitch. Now it is three and one. Casey Kochman, his choice. He throws the cut fastball up in the zone, trying to run it away from the hitter to get him to chase. He laid off, but it's dangerous throwing it up in the zone. Ah, uh, gets back in time. Ball and four. that misses. Ball four. He is loaded on the field. I don't know about this call, Gary. He must have a lot of confidence in that changeup. But with runners on base and the three ball count, you've got to throw a strike there. Now he loads up the bases. It's going to be Thomas. And he's got a shot with the bases loaded. They can really open up this game now with a big hit. Pitcher wants this big hit more than anyone. Now the first pitch. First pitch a slider outside 1-0. Oh, Gary, one run in in this inning already in his second walk right there. You have to think that this is starting to unravel. Ground ball up the middle. He's got it now. And he'll step on the back of the do it. They made him throw 23 pitches to exit that inning. That's a workout. Hitting off, Cameron Maven. 0 for 1 thus far. Here it comes. Swinging a soft grounder towards second. Number 18. 
In time for the up. Bunning in the box in his 14th season. And starts him out here. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. And that'll bring Travis Snyder to the plate. Well, you know what? I've seen better swings in a park with the pitcher able to pick up a base hit right there. And, hey, nothing like helping yourself. One for two in the ballgame. Liner towards the hole. Now Good offensive chance here. Number six. Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. Number two spot in the lineup up again. Blew out last time. Runners on first and second with one out. Oh! Can't get him to chase it. That's low. Ball one. Gary, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound. The defense has not felt that much pressure either. But only one runner left on base. And, you know, we're moving through the middle part of this ball game. So, you know, they're doing a nice job shutting down this offense. At the belt, the 1-0. It's fouled off. Foul ball! On the way, hit sharply towards the hole. Out. That's one out. And a double play to the hole. It's called short work of three. Took six pitches. Now still a shutout here in Chicago. And for those of you catching up with us tonight, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Phillips is in the box. He'll lead off the bottom half of the sixth. Oh, fastball is high, 1-0. Oh. Well, he missed with the first pitch, so I'll bet he's going to come back with the fastball right here, as he's done in the past. Here's the 1-0. -oh. Oh, Slider is low, 2-0. Oh. So if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. And here's the pitch. It's hit foul by Phillips. Oh! Had him guessing on the changeup, even at two. Well, he clearly fooled him right there. He had him thinking fastball, and he pulled the string on it. Got him to swing right through it. The 2 2 pitch. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. Number nine. Here's the four seam fastball coming at you in K Camp. Get a better look. Good job of keeping him guessing by changing speeds out there. Boy, John, you saw the effect of that. That swing, he wasn't even in the same time zone. But going from off speed to a heater like that is never easy. And even guys that make the big bucks have a hard time adjusting. And we're going to see Hundley here. Here's the first pitch. Line drive fouled oh. off towards first. Fastball oh. ball misses low that time, one on one. Smash towards the hole. Oh, it's caught. Shortstop. Number 11.
He walked and later scored his last time through. And the first pitch. Ball one. That one's going to be outside. Ball one. Tried to backdoor that cut fastball. Just trying to catch the outside corner. Couldn't quite get it. The 1-0 pitch. 1-0 delivery is a fastball in there. 1-1. Dig in now, Grid. Let's go, Grid. The pitch. 1-1 pitch. Fastball. High. 2-1. Now the 2 1 pitch. Line drive left foul. of the bag and foul. Here's a swing and he pops him up. That's Cox. Side is retired. It's the kind of inning the defense likes. Three up, three down. in the batter's box it's Allen bounced into a fielder's choice as last time and the first pitch fastball swung out and missed 0 and 1 uh, holding them scoreless so far in this one and only allowed four hits Gary and I think a real credit to what he's been able to do outstanding work between the pitcher and catcher just a great plan of attack oh. looping curve breaks outside even at one Throws in on the changeup, and it's one and two now. And with one two count, the batter has to protect the plate. The numbers indicate he's willing to chase if you throw it out of the zone. One two pitch is high and hard. That one misses two and two. Three and Holds two. off on that slider, and it's three two. Well, this would be a perfect pitch if it stayed in the zone. This slider just slid right out of the zone, just off the bottom outside corner. Payoff pitch. You're strikes out. him out. Now we have said it more than once today, but he continues to look extremely sharp, Steve. He's so locked in. You, you wonder how long he can keep it going. I haven't seen anybody pitch like this in a long time. And with that right-hander warming up in the bullpen here, I'm not sure quite what they're thinking. Well, with the left-handed hitter on deck, he's probably getting ready for hitters later in the lineup. White at the plate. Now, let's take a moment here to see the breakdown of the pitches that have yielded hits. This guy's four-seamer's been hit three times over the course of the game. You know, that pitch has been a weak spot for him overall. But you have to be happy with what he's done going through this lineup. He's been in control, hit his spots, and still has a shutout intact. And he starts him out. And it goes foul. Oh. That's low and outside, one and one. Well, he had the right idea in mind, trying to get that fastball down and away. Just missed. Now let's see how he comes back with the next one. There's a swing and a miss at the fastball. It's one and two. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. The one two is a fastball inside two and two. Now the two two swing and a chopper to the second baseman. Number 18. He's out. Throw to first gets even there at two down. Oh, Gary, for every pitcher it's a little bit different. You know how long they can go into a game. But right now he still looks pretty strong right now. Two outs in the seventh. I think he's got a chance to shut them down the rest of the way. Up again now, the number five spot. Struck out swinging last time. The pitch. Oh. First pitch, a slider outside, 1-0. Oh. Oh. 
Line towards third and foul. Hit up the middle. And makes its way through. The tying run will come now to back. The ball was well struck. Good piece of hitting. The infield playing back. Had a little more ability to cover some ground, but he's able to get a by him. Gonzalez at the plate. Let's take a look at what he's doing on these first pitch to hitters. You throw strike one, you get out. You tell pitchers that, but now they get a chance to see it. He's retired nine batters after going 0-1 in the count on him. And here's the first one. Ball! First pitch is a change up low, 1-0. Well, a lot of guys would swing at that pitch right there, that change up down in the strike zone, but the hitter luckily stayed off that one. Pazos, and now the 1 0. Strike Gets one. that call up to the easy, evens the counter one apiece. Oh, he's trying to steal second. Ball two. And his throw, he is out. Great throw. I have to predict what's going to happen the rest of this game. I'd have to say he's going to continue doing what he's doing because he looks strong, he looks sharp, and they don't seem to have a chance against him so far. Now up to the plate. And it's Lonnie Chisenhall now to lead it on. Last time through, he had a sacrifice bunt. First pitch on the way. That one hit pretty well, but uh, it goes foul off to the right. Here's the pitch. That swung on, line towards the gap in left center. And it gets down. Whoa. Gave a pitch that time, allowing the opposing pitcher to get on base. You hate that. Little warm-up action going in the bullpen. That's a right-hander up and throwing. Well, they're going to wait for the right-handed hitter on deck to get announced, and then they'll probably make the move to the pen. Here's the first pitch and he lays it down he'll try to beat it out number 11 and that is not in time he's aboard at first well, this was a sacrifice situation but the defense just didn't react properly once the ball is on the ground and everybody's safe and santos is batting drove in a run earlier in the game at first and second. Nobody out. Oh! Swung on and fouled away. Here's the delivery. Right. Richards runs the count 0-2. Well, just because he's a fastball hitter doesn't mean you can't throw him a fastball. Strength on strength right there. And the pitcher came out ahead. Trying to keep him close. He's back on the bag. Line drive. That's foul oh. towards first. Oh. And he fouls off another one. Well, with the way we keep track of pitch counts right now, you know 0-2, the pitcher wants to put him away. The fact that he has to throw another pitch just tells you how defensive a swing the hitter had to keep going. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as K. That's a pretty fast pitch right there, and hard to get that much break on it. And Williams in the box. Uh, here's a chance to take a look at how this pitcher has been doing in terms of getting getters to chase pitches outside the zone. Well, I like this performance. Not his best overall, but a very good job of what he's doing. Getting the hitters with two strikes on him to chase the ball out of the zone for the strikeouts. At any time, you've got great command and great stuff, and you're locating your pitches. You can throw it anywhere. Swing, a ball hit high, deep to left field, way back. Gives his team a five-run lead now with a big three-run knock. I 
Pats. I don't know if I'd want to be a, an opposing pitcher right now. This offense looks unstoppable. the delivery. Called strike on the outside corner, 0-1. Steve, this lineup uh, combined with their pitching right now in a position to be unstoppable. Well, no question about it. In the other dugout, the manager's got to be thinking, what am I going to do with this pitcher? Should I get him out of here? Can't extend on that one behind now, 0-2. They go with the cut fastball, the inside part of the plate. Now they could go back to back there again or go to the outside corner. They can go either way. Get him to go after that cutter, but it's one and two. Go one two on its way. You're out. And Conchman up empty on that one is that bat is over. Number Cam's going to give us a good look at the cutter. I think the pitcher had him fooled on this one all the way through, John. He wasn't expecting that outside corner delivery. Well, he just pulled the string on that pitch, and that's good, good stuff right there. Thomas is the batter now. Well, it's not surprising they're going to the bullpen now. It's, I just thought maybe they waited a little bit too long. Should have probably gotten them a little bit earlier. Bounced into a fielder's choice his last time. Oh. Fastball too low. What a no. Flat fastball right there. Just missed. Just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Here's the 1 0. Low for a ball, and it's 2 0. Pitch on the way. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Lined right at the second baseman. And Taylor. Throws on the first side is retired. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. I'm Gary Thorne. Gonzalez at the plate. He'll lead it off here. Inning number eight. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. That fastball just froze him on the inside corner. Now we're going to see where he goes. Look for something possibly away. And he's on in front on that pitch, so he's in the hole now. 0 and 2. This one's grounded foul, wide of first. There's a swing and a ground ball. And he'll step on the back. That'll be the first down. Catcher up to the plate. Both for two thus far. First pitch on the way. First pitch, fastball, 0 and 1. He delivers. Ball! And he leaves that one alone. Clint Barmas shows patience even in the count. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. Swing and lined up the middle. Makes its way through for a single. So Cameron Mayburn will come up. You know, most of the time a pitch on the outside part of the plate is a very good pitch, but not to this hitter. He loves to get those long arms extended, and he drove that one. 
Well, it's a luxury for the manager having a lefty coming off the bench like this guy. They go to him here, hoping it's the right move against the right-handed pitcher. And he squares around, gets down the butt. Hundley. In time for the up. You want to get runners in scoring position, and sometimes you have to lay the ball down and get them advanced. That's what he did right there. And if this runner scores, we'll go back and take a look at what just happened and say thank you very much. Hi. Good team baseball right there. But I can't blame them for bringing in the pinch hitter right now. The pitcher, they've got to do something to get this offense going and try to get back into the game. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Oh. Plays off that one outside, 1-0. The 1-0 now. One in one. there at the letters, evening the count, 1-1. One one. A fastball up in the zone like that. A pitch a lot of guys like to hit. He just couldn't swing the bat. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Oh, two. Fastball gets away from him there, 2-1. and one. Here's the 2-1. The 2 1 is a fastball inside, and it's 3 and 1. Here's the pitch. There's a bullet towards third, and that one's put away to retire the side. So they still can't buy a run. They've been held scoreless through eight. And Phillips is in the box. Struck out swinging his last time up. Well, this is a good move right here. You're bringing in the better defensive player. Defense helps you win games. And out on the mound, we've got Joe Thatcher. As they make the pitching swap. Strike one! Pulls back on that curveball. Takes a strike on one. Oh, one is a fastball inside. That'll even the count at one. Well, that pitch just took off right there and exploded out of the pitcher's hand. Kept it just a little bit inside, though. Tough pitch to hit. Good job by the hitter to lay off. Can't yeah, make contact on that fastball. One and two. Trying to get him to chase the fastball away, two and two. He deals. Fastball misses high, and it's full, three two. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there, forcing fastball up in the zone. And on a full count, check swing, call, strike three, out number one. It's the best pitch in baseball, the fastball down and away. If you can master that, you can be successful. He's successful. And we're going to see Hundley here. Here's the first one. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. Now Two away. Shortstop. Number 11. Grady Sizemore at the plate. He popped out his last time. Here's the first pitch. Change up in there for a called strike. Well, they need a shutout, shutout inning right here to get back in there and score some runs. At least looking like they got a chance to get through it without giving up some runs. Good patience. Grady Sizemore letting that one go by for a ball and an even count.
Here's the pitch. Oh, this is down in the zone. Two and one. Well, he tried to change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. Here's the 2 1 pitch. Popped him up. Should be an easy play for the first baseman. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. And so Travis Snyder leading it off. Two for three thus far. Now they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd oh. to make this move right now. Slider stays inside. One ball, no strikes. One zero on the way. Swing and a line to right center, and it's through. Taylor a single. I mean, well, just what his team needed. Okay. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. In the box again, their left fielder. He hit into a double play as last time. And here's the first one. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. This one into the alleyway should be extra bases. The opportunity for offense is right now. Dick Allen. Well, this is a guy right here that was made to hit fastballs, and that's what he looks for, and that's what he got right there. Put a good swing on it. He knew what to do with it for that double. And in the batter's box, it's Allen. He'll be seeking his first hit of the game. Not a lot of luck so far. Two men in scoring position. Still no one out. The pitch. Oh! And it's fouled away. Swings and there's a drive. High in the air. He makes the catch. What a Here comes the runner for the plate. Taylor scores. Good productive out. Good productive at bat. Picking up the RBI. Nice piece of hitting. White at the plate. And for this offense right now, something to be positive about. They just don't want to take a good look at the scoreboard. Well, you know what? We can't rule them out of this one just yet. That hit at least sustains the illusion of competitiveness. Illusion. Uh, what they're looking back at now, Steve, is the fact that if the pitching had just been a little bit better, maybe they'd be that much closer. First pitch to him. Oh, Cutter just misses. 1-0. Now, Gary, you say that they, they can look back and consider all they want, but right now they have to worry about this situation right here. Get a couple big hits and see if they can come out with a win. Swing. Ball is clobbered high, deep to left center field. Steve, they have cut that deficit in half. A big two-run fly, now only down by two. Well, they didn't fool him with that change up right there. He stayed back and drove it out of the park. And that's the key, Steve, on those change ups. You've got to be patient, and he was. And that's not easy to do when you're looking to drive in a run and help your club. I mean, the Come from behind wins are tough to get, especially against this team. But they're a little bit closer right now. They got the feeling. He starts him out. And that's in there for a strike. 
This is the push they needed. They're not there, and they need to get somebody on and get that tying run to the plate now. And they placed some doubts in the pitcher's mind that he can shut this offense down. So who knows what's going to happen? Oh, this with the fastball outside, and it's even at one. A good progress for this offense. Anytime you can put up a crooked number and a comeback, that really helps. They picked up three. There's a swing and a line drive. And that'll get him aboard. They're on a roll. I mean, the back. Well, the pitcher's got to be thinking to himself, what do I have to do to get it out? That's now four straight hits he's given up. Jose Tabata coming up to the plate right now, and really the pressure on him to deliver for his team. Grounded out his last time through. And here's the first one, up the middle. He dives, he's up with it. And the throw is just in time to get him at second. Great play. Again, the hometown fans have to be happy today. They're going home with a win and happy. Their team played solid baseball all around. It's time now to recognize our player of the game. Well, you know what they say, that everyone loves to see the long ball when you come to a game, and he certainly gave the fans what they wanted to see. He's got to be feeling pretty good about himself. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Oh, no question about it. They get the win in a close game, a lot of excitement and enthusiasm and ready for the next one. And until next time, this is Gary Thorne, along with John Truck and Steve Phillips. We'll catch you at the yard.